We synth presentators, we love our adjectives. When it comes to describing the sounds coming out of our synths, we like to use words as uh, this sound is warm, this sound is lush, now this sound is thin, this synth is fat, whatever that means. This is epic, this is majestic, it's such a powerful sound, and it's brittle, it's cold, it's creamy, it's crappy. But what does it all mean? So what is a fat sound exactly? Does it mean that the synth is expensive, old, analog? I don't know, I think this DX7 can sound pretty fat. So let's compare this sound to a sound from a synth that many people regard as fat. So is this sound fatter than the previous one? I don't know, people regard this synth as fat, but why? I have no clue. Here's a synth often described as warm, lush and gritty at the same time, and people are willing to pay five to six thousand dollars for one of these. But why is that sound more warm, lush and gritty than this DX7, which has a similar sound, but this sound will be described as cold, thin and brittle? Well, I think it's between the ears of the beholder. What do you think? Here are two synths from the same company. The one below, the Roland Juno 106, is often hailed as being warm and creamy, while the one on top, the Roland Alpha Juno 2, is often ridiculed of being thin and sterile in comparison. But they sound the same. So in reality, all those adjectives, they don't mean anything because they have no valid foundation behind them. So am I nuts for saying this? That's okay, I can be your nuts. And again, here are two synths from the same company that often divide opinion. In one tribe, you love the one on top but hate the one at the bottom, or vice versa. But the arguments are the same no matter what tribe you belong to. One synth is warm, while the other one is cold. Maybe it's time to see the doctor. Here are a few more examples. This is a synth I've described as thin in the sound. Of course I'm right. Of course I'm not. It's my opinion, that's all. The next synth is often described as powerful, but what does that mean? Is it just loud? Another adjective often used is, the sound is epic. I'm not really sure that you can use that as an adjective at all. Epic.
And here's another fat sound again, whatever that means. Some synth presentators like to use the word bad for describing a synth. Just to be clear, I'm just as hard as anyone else in using adjectives. So next time you hear a synth presentator saying that the sound is fat, maybe it should go on keto for a while and maybe lose some weight. I don't know, but I know I'm Espencroft and I am the 80s. See you next time. Cheers.